Hi, I'm Greg with Rev Robotics, and today I'm here to talk to you about our Smart Robot Servo and how to use our Smart Robot Servo programmer. We developed the Smart Robot Servo to make it easy for you to use servos on your robot without all the hassle that normally comes along with using servos. The Smart Robot Servo has two main features. It's up to a 280 degree regular servo, but it allows you to set the endpoints so that you can rescale the programming code so you can have this act as a 45 degree servo, a 90 degree servo, or any angle in between. The other thing that this servo can do is it can be reconfigured into continuous rotation mode. So you can use this as a small motor actuator on your robot instead of something just limited by the angular position. So to get started with your servo programmer, you take your servo and you plug it into the servo programmer. The white cable goes to the left where there's a little bit of an S and then you can turn it on. Servo programmer takes four uh, AA batteries that you'll have to install before this. The first thing to do is if you hit the test button, you'll see the servo starting to sweep back and forth. This is just the basic sweeping test mode. If you hit test again, that goes to the controllable test mode where if you hit right, it'll spin to the right limit, or left, it'll spin to the, in, to the left limit. What I always tell people to do is start hit your test mode and hit program. This will center your servo. That's really important because as you're programming the limits of your servo, you must go through the zero position. So, now you're in the blank mode. So we'll take our servo horn and we'll set this thing to top center. And now what you're able to do is program the limits of your servo. So move it to the right as far as you would want it to do and press right, move it to the left as far as you want to do, press left, and then hit program. This will now rescale the ranges of your servo. So if you go back to test, you'll see that it will only stay within the ranges that you just programmed. It's that simple. And you can program any ranges up to 280 degrees. So the next thing that this servo can do is you can actually switch it into continuous mode. So to do that, you flip the switch from S to C, and just hit program. And now when you go to test mode, you'll see that you can now make it go continuous rotation in either direction. You can hit the program button to make it stop. If for whatever reason you need to reset your servo back to factory stop, all you have to do is press and hold the program button until all the lights blink and your servo is set back to stop. I'm gonna show you an example of how to do this and, and the advantage of this for on your robot. So using, using one of our EDU bots, this claw is being driven by one of our servos. So you unplug the servo cable that's going to the control hub or the expansion hub, and you plug that in to the controller while it's still on your robot. Go to your test mode and set the position to the center, making sure the left, right, and center. So start with the, always start by setting your servo to the center position by going to the second test mode and hitting program. From there, you can now set your limits. We're gonna set the left limit as all the way closed, and we're going to set the right limit as all the way open, and then hit program. Your servo now will stay within open and close, and you can just send a zero or a one or a full range in your, in your software. From this point, you just unplug your servo, plug it right back into your robot itself, and you'll be good to go. Be sure to check out all the uh, resources that we have on RevRobotics.com. And if you've got any more questions, feel free to email us at support at RevRobotics.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your build.